Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Vanish Chicagoland Stories, the podcast. I'm your host, Pete Costanas. This is episode 155, season seven, and today's date is August 10th, 2022. And uh, today I'm doing a special episode. I'm going to do a tribute episode to the late Olivia Newton-John. She was a singer, actress, uh, I grew up with her. Uh, a lot of people have uh, from the 70s and 80s and further on. <laughs> I will talk about my memories of her from the movies, uh, television, and also uh, her songs, you know, her records. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun and uh, it'll be very sad at the same time. Right now, the program will go into a commercial break. And this program is brought to you by Nestle Soup Time. (laughs) And it stars a very, very famous uh, acting couple. Uh, You might know the husband, but not the wife. So it it stars uh, Vincent Price. (laughs) You know, scary Vincent. And his wife, Coral Brown. Okay, so here is a commercial from 1977 for Nestle Soup Time. Sit back and enjoy, everyone. Thank you. My Vincent fusses for hours over this precious soup stock. He says good soup comes from good stock. So when I found Nestle's soup time with home style stock and then made it in only 10 seconds, well, I got such an evil look. Oh, but even Vincent admits home style stock makes soup time something special. I wanted to hate it, but it's just too good. Nestle Soup Time Instant Soups with a home style stock. Look for our faces on the shelf. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Nestle Soup Time uh, that featured uh, Vincent Price and his wife, uh, Carl Brown. And uh, I remember this commercial when it came out. It was in the mid 1970s. Uh, I remember there's a memory of this. Uh, when this commercial was on, when my father was alive, he made fun of them. He made fun of the couple. <laughs> And he said some nasty Greek saying. I don't want to say it. So um, he didn't understand. But the soup time, I think it was introduced about eh, 75, 76, around that time. And then it was discontinued, probably the late 70s. I haven't seen it since. But there's other soup mixes, you know, Lipton cup cup of soup. You know, they still make that, I think, you know, and there's others. So uh, I tried this. My mother bought it one time. It was okay. It was very good. Uh, chicken chicken noodle was good. I like that. Or cream of chicken. Okay. At the beginning of the program, um, I said I was going to talk about my memories of Olivia Newton-John from her movies, uh, television, and her records. And uh, I'll go into more depth. Uh, in about a moment. Uh, first off, I want to talk about uh, what happened to me today. Uh, I attended Svenguli Day in Berwyn, which co- it commemorated the the host Svenguli, played by Rich Kaz, and uh, he was given the key to the city in Berwyn, <laughs> Berwyn, Illinois. So I attended, and uh, we had a lot of fun. They filmed... Uh, the uh, activity, you know, the event, um, I'm holding a sign. I posted that on my social media accounts. You would see that. Uh, a lot of people wondering, well, what's Kerwin? Kerwin was the rubber chicken puppet that helped Sven Gulli answer his mail. You know, a lot of people weren't familiar with that. But if you're a fan of the show, you would know. And uh, I got there in the afternoon. We were, we were there for about eh, an hour and a half. and. Uh, uh, Sven Gulli, uh, Sven accepted the key from the mayor, and it, it was beautiful, and he was wonderful, and uh, he made me laugh, and he, he's one of a kind. I, I, I just love him. I really do. And they, it's like a documentary or a TV special that would air on MeTV soon, maybe next month, maybe around Halloween. Uh, we don't know. It'll be announced, and once I hear the amount, the announcement, I will post on social media on my social media accounts and let everyone know. And uh, 
I kept this a secret for two weeks, and I didn't tell anyone. Also, there's a chance. Uh, well, I will be in the the TV special because I'm holding the sign. Now, I know they filmed that, and uh, but um, before that, before about a couple, like I said, a couple of weeks ago, I was interviewed uh, by Zoom by uh, one of the people that work with Sanguli, and we did a short interview. I believe that will be on it. I believe. I, I don't know. We'll see. If it is, that that's wonderful. You get to see me twice. <laughs> I don't know. But at least I'm, I'm going to be in it uh, when I'm at. Uh, it was held at a park, Serenity Park in Berwyn. And uh, it was great. Everyone, some people dressed up as Fenguli. They brought the rubber chickens. <laughs> I didn't bring one. So um, that was fun. A lot of kids went and went there with their parents. And uh, it was a good time. I really enjoyed myself. This will, it's one of the best moments of my life, and uh, I'll never forget it. Okay. Right now, I'll talk about Olivia Newton-John, and uh, I'll talk about her biography, and then uh, I will talk about her movies, her television appearances, uh, uh, her records, and uh, my memories of watching her in Chicago. So here we go. Uh, Olivia Newton-John was born September 26, 1948. Uh, she was uh, she was born in England, in Cambridge, and then she came over to Australia when she was five years old uh, with her parents and her brother and sister. And then uh, when she became a teenager, she got into the music business and she started singing with a group. And then uh, she came to America in 1975, I think. Yeah, 74, 75. And she uh, recorded a few hits uh, before the big one. You know, I'm talking about Greece. We'll get to that in a second. And uh, there was a couple hits uh, that I liked the most. Uh, I Honestly Love You. They came out in 1974. And Have You Ever Been Mellow from 1975. I remember listening to this song on an old uh, record player with combine, combo radio. It was yellow, and that song played all the time. And uh, it's a good song. I like it. You know, at the time, you know, kids, when you're a kid, they ridicule you because you like the stuff. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> I mean, it was great. And um, let's see what else. Uh, there were some hits that she recorded before that. Uh, a lot of people... Poppy forgot one was called Sam, you know, and uh, that was a good song. It was fine. Let's see what we, what we got here. Let me be there. They came out in 1973. I remember that. It's like a country song, you know. And, and if you love me, let me know. I like that song. And uh, please, Mr. Please, I remember that song. Okay. Then um, she got the role of Sandy in Greece in 1978. And that starred uh, her and John Travolta. And uh, I wanted to see this movie, and my little brother wanted to see it. And it was playing at the Evergreen Theater in Evergreen Park, Illinois. In at Evergreen Plaza, uh, it did not play at Fort City Cinema. I don't know why, um, but it did play at the Double Drive In later on. I think it did, but it played, it premiered in in Evergreen uh, Theater. And we, I asked my mother, Can you please drive us there? And, and she said, Yes. And she drove us there. I uh, drove me and my brother, and we watched the first time. Um, there was something silly about that. You know, when they started singing, some of the kids left the theater. And I, like, impulsively did that. Why? I don't know why. That was stupid. You know, because of the, there was some singing. But uh, but I, I saw the movie again, and I st sat through the whole thing. And, you know, I regretted doing that. You know, because, you know, when you're when you're a teenager, you follow a lot of kids what they do. And that was stupid. Anyway... 
Uh, the movie was great. So in the 50s, uh, they had uh, John Travolta and Olivia Nunn John had great chemistry, wonderful chemistry. And uh, the songs were, well, of course, uh, the most famous one is You're the One I Want. That's played at the end. But they played it on the radio all the time, all the time. Played on WLS, uh, WFYR in Chicago, uh, probably every half hour. <laughs> it seemed like to it played, and then uh, they pl- also they played "Hopelessly Devoted to You." That was Olivia's song. Oh, she sang it beautifully, so angelic. And then uh, "Summer Nights," that one that was great. So uh, that was uh, the movie. Is fun, uh, it became a box office hit, and it's uh, people still love it to this day. I love it too. I have it on DVD, and uh, you can sing along. You know, uh, there's comedy in it, but it's funny, and I had a good cast. <laughs> you know, I I bought the CD in the '80s, and uh, I probably still have it. So I love the I like the movie very much, and. Uh, they started another movie in 1983 called uh, Two of the Kind, I think. Yeah, that's what it's called. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else. The other movie uh, the Olivia Newton uh, John starred, also starred, was uh, Xanadu. Uh, Xanadu, I saw it. In um, in Fort City, and uh, believe it or not, I went by myself to see it. I I was afraid to ask somebody to go with me because you think I'm a nerd, still am, and because I like musicals, and uh, I watched it. And you know, a lot of people did not like it. Uh, The critics hated it, but I liked the movie. It was great. And it featured Olivia Newton-John, also actor Michael Beck, and also Gene Kelly. That was his last role in that. And he was dancing, you know, and he was wonderful. I love him. My favorite singing in Ring. I loved him in that. And the other music that was featured was also Electric Light Orchestra and Cliff Richard and, you know, the English singer and the tubes. You know, and uh, let's see. So... The most famous uh, songs um, that was in the uh, movie was also Magic. I love that song. It is wonderful. I, I get never, I'm never tired of hearing that. And it was great. It was a great uh, song. And also Xanadu, she sang with the elect- with the LO. You know, that was great. And uh, the other two songs Electric Light Orchestra sang was All Over the World and I'm Alive. That was good. Good songs. You know, they, they play those on the radio all the time, but they, but they played Magic and Xanadu all the time on the radio. I remember that when I was a teenager. And uh, also there was Suddenly, it was a duet with Olivia Newton-John and Cliff Richard. That was I didn't hear much on that radio. radio. But I have it on my um, iTunes music, um, my computer. I downloaded that. So it's good. It's a good movie. It's a good song. I really enjoyed it. Okay, and let's see. The other uh, albums that she did, This one came out in 1978. It's called Totally Hot. And it came out in November of that year. And I was a sophomore at Bogan High School. And right now, uh, the most famous, one of the classic songs was, uh, let's see. No, two of them were Deeper Than the Night and A Little More Love. Uh, Those are great. And uh, I found a commercial on YouTube. It was a commercial for that record, uh, Totally Hot. So I'm going to play that right now. So sit back and enjoy, and uh, I'm going to play a couple of her famous songs. So thank you, everyone. She's totally hot. She's Olivia Newton-John. Totally Hot, the new album from a totally talented performer and lady. Is dragging her feet. I 
Totally Hot, featuring the smash single, A Little More Love. No, know that you have your way. So you have to go home. No is the word I can say. Get a little more from an album. Get a total music experience. Olivia Newton-John's Totally Hot on MCA Records and Tapes. You make it go. Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed that commercial. I remember this commercial when they aired it on t- television. And so I found it on YouTube, downloaded it. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to mention, she she did a TV special in na- May 1978. I remember this. And it starred uh, Olivia Newton-John, also Andy Gibb, and ABBA. <laughs> and uh, I remember watching a little of it. It was good, but I, I was afraid to admit it. And uh, there was also an actor, Gary Frank, from the TV show Family. You remember that with Christy McNichol? He was in that. So believe it or not, this special is on YouTube if you care to watch it. So I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen it in like 40 years. So maybe tomorrow? If I have time, I will watch it. And I heard it was wonderful, according to critics and a lot of people. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see about that. So I'm glad she made another one, another TV special um, called Hollywood Nights. That came out in 1980. Then uh, other uh, albums she did, um, the first, the last two well known was Physical. Remember that? It came out in 1981. And uh, it was uh, released on October 13, 1981. And believe it or not, I think they played this on MTV. They did play it. I remember seeing that. I went to someone's house and I, I watched the video for the first time. It's a good song. It really is. It's wonderful. And she had a tour in 1982. A phys- it's called a physical tour. I have an ad of that. I found it in a newspaper. I will post that uh, later before I announce that the, this episode is ready to be published. And uh, it's a uh, key one of her biggest hits. So that's great. You know. And uh, the other album that she did was Soul Kiss. Came out in 1985. The, the song came out. It was a good song, but uh, it was not that successful. Not really. Um, I remember the video. They played this on MTV or VH1, and uh, her husband was in the video, Matt Latanzi. Uh, they got divorced later on, and then uh, she had a daughter, Chloe. <laughs> She's a very pretty girl. And then um, I do... You know, I I watched her over the years, and the last time I saw her on TV was uh, she was like a guest judge on Dancing with the Stars. And she looked fine, you know, and she sounded the same. Oh, so beautiful. And then in uh, 1992, she uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer, and uh, she stopped. Uh, she, I think she stopped recording or performing, going on tour, you know, to deal with this terrible disease. And uh, they got it was caught early, and she's, you know, she survived. And then, um, then she was diagnosed again. I think like twenty in the twenty fourteen or something like that. I'm not sure. And uh, and then it happened again. So it's uh, it's a terrible disease. Like I keep saying that. And uh, so, and then she passed away uh, about on August 8th, about two days ago. And she was 73 years old. And uh, when that was announced, it's like uh, social media took by storm. Everyone was shocked. They knew she was sick, but uh, it's still shocking, you know, because we grew up with Olivia. Her songs, her... 
her movies, uh, TV, wherever she uh, she's appeared on talk shows. Uh, I saw a clip she appeared on Johnny Carson on Tonight Show. It's on YouTube if you can find it. And uh, so that's sad, you know. That's terrible. Uh, John Travolta said he was very sad, uh, very heartbroken that she that she died, you know. And he made a statement, of course. So that's a shame. It really is. Okay. Let's see what else I could think of. Uh, any memories of her? Mm-hmm. I used to listen to music on the radio. You know, you have a transistor radio, you know, and uh, I didn't buy her albums. Uh, not really, but uh, I just listened to her songs. But uh, she had a beautiful voice. We all, and we're all going to miss her. Okay. That'll be all for today for uh, episode 155. I talked about my memories of Olivia Newton-John from the movies, television, and her records. Uh, This will be published uh, later on today. Also, uh, if you can listen to any uh, Apple, uh, no, Apple podcasts, any uh, whatever podcasts are available. You can listen on Google Podcast, uh, Amazon Music, Spotify. Also, have a YouTube channel, Fashion Congolance Stories. Uh, just uh, go to the search engine and type in. You'll find it. And please subscribe. Subscribe to all uh, to those that I mentioned, and uh, you will get an update. Probably get a notification. <laughs> okay. So, uh, again, that, that'll be all for today. I am P. Kastanis, your host, and thank you for joining me today. I'll have another episode uh, this weekend. Also, uh, if you're wondering about my other podcast, TV Oblivion, I was going to do one uh, this past weekend, but something came up. Uh, I will do one next weekend. So that would be episode 13, I think. or Yeah, that would be 13. So, um but if you'd like to, if you care to, uh, you would like to listen to the others episodes of TV Oblivion. They're available on uh, any podcast available. It's also I have a YouTube channel, TV Oblivion. You can listen to that. I talk about old TV shows uh, that are for largely forgotten and rarely syndicated. So um, it's all set to go. So I just have to record. And we'll see. So I will uh, post uh, that's coming up short, uh, very soon. Probably at the end of the week. Okay. So that will be all today for me. Thank you again for joining me. And uh, here's Ray Rayner uh, with a little bye-bye music. Uh, traveling music, of course. Uh, saying bye-bye to everyone at the end of the show. And here's bye-bye for me. So take care, everyone. So long. And here's Ray. We have to go. Bye, bye, bye.